Hi, I'm Dr. Chrissy O'Malley, and this is Better Science Teaching. Today, what I'd like to talk to you a little bit about is how to write your abstract for science fair. Abstracts turn out to be really important in some cases because that's the thing that a lot of judges are going to see first about your project. Um, and this year, particularly in submitting things virtually, that's going to be a document that a lot of folks look at when they're either giving you an initial score or they're considering you for a special award. So pay careful attention to your abstract because it turns out to be really important for making a good impression about your project with other folks. When you're, when you're preparing your abstract, what you're actually doing is writing a concise summary of the paper that you've already produced. So if you're a student in one of my classes, you've already written your paper before we even discuss what an abstract is. It needs to be a summary that includes four basic things. One, your purpose, why you did your project. Two, your procedure, how did you come across, how did you come by answering the questions that you asked um, and why you did your project. Um, thirdly, your results. Um, what what things did you measure and what relationships did you find? And for your conclusions or what are the things that you can learn from your project and apply to other things? When I was a student myself back in eighth grade, my our teacher used to call this PPRC. So that was how we always wrote papers was our purpose, procedure, results, and conclusions. And that's a really good way to think about your abstract. Your abstract should really ideally be under 250 words. I have had students who struggle to write um, about those four main ideas with so few words. It is challenging, it's difficult, um, but for scientific writing and being able to express your ideas, it's really helpful because the abstract needs to be something that your reader can read quickly and understand easily, and so it needs to be very digestible. And usually, if you are willing to give up some words, you can get to something that people can understand quickly um, without bogging down on a lot of details. And what ends up happening with abstracts is if your summary is well written, it's usually an indication that you have a well written paper and it can draw people in who are interested in the topic that you chose. There are a lot of folks who have a habit of uh, writing an abstract before they've written a paper. So for instance, when scientists are presenting at conferences, sometimes the abstract gets written before the rest of the paper, or before the presentation that they're gonna give. This is something that um, sometimes happens. It's, you know, it's a little bit stressful, to be honest. Um, but if you are a student who's working on a science fair project, there's no reason why you need to be pushed to do your abstract first. So you guys should be in a really good position to write a great abstract. Make sure, again, when you write your abstract that you're including the principal objectives and possibly even the scope of your experimentation that you're also including the methods that you use, you're summarizing the results, and you're giving your principal conclusions. Those things, of course, should all be repeated with more detail later on in your paper. That's the way the paper should be written. Um, it's better to have a shorter abstract than a longer one, so if you are concerned that your paper is not long enough, that's probably, or sorry, if you were concerned that your abstract is not long enough, that's probably just fine. Um, having a shorter abstract is better than having one that's too long. Keep in mind too that your abstract will often be be published or shared with someone or read aside from your paper. So you wanna make sure that when you are writing your abstract that you're not citing things that are in your paper or other resources or references outside of it that, that you need because you're not gonna have your work cited or your reference page attached to your abstract. It needs to be able to stand alone as its, as its own document. It's basically like the written elevator speech of your project. So I hope that, um, that that helps you with writing your abstract and make sure that you keep it concise and keep it short. Um, and good luck with your science fair projects this year. Uh, for our school, it's the middle of February, so we are right down to the wire. We have our science fair in less than a week. Uh, anyway, um, I hope that you stay safe and you be well, especially with the cold weather that's going on right now. And I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.